raid wall there, but what can we do? We can't always win the day, can we? So we're going to get a load of AoE shadow damage now. So we're going to pop our tall brad trinket, reduce all that damage down. So we're not taking hardly anything from it. We're not bothered about it whatsoever. Really, really nice, easy stuff. Not too bad at all, eh, guys? Finish him off. Off we go. We're done. And as the tank, remember, you're first out of the block every single time. So we're going to wait here to get in. That was a pretty piss poor demonstration of Divine Guardian there. I'm sorry, guys. I should have done better. But we can't all be ballers 100% of the time. We've got to remember that. It's not always going to happen. Come on, Belmont, you jerk. Let's rock and roll. There we go. Straight out. Way. Drop a consecration as they jump on. Holy shield, because we've got a nice big fat AoE tanking to do. Boom, boom, boom. We're just going to build our holy power here. So we've got Inquisition them. Bit of a taunt pull there, just to make sure we only get one mob. Remember this guy fears. So we're going to pull him back. Because when he fears, we don't want people to go running into all the other mobs, do we? No, we do not. What we don't want is uncontrolled adds. There's the fear. Take it like a boss. Got three holy power. Boom, boom, boom. Back into position. Come on, down you go. And we're going to save our, our three holy powers there. Pull the next mob. Now, the lot needs a lot of interrupting, so we'll interrupt that one. Nothing else ready. Another Crusader Strike. Oh, yeah, Avenger Shield. Down you go. Next mob. Interrupting. Yeah. Three Holy Power. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Keep it going. Oh, yeah. What, the also important thing of speed pulling, guys. I know a lot of people think, oh, well, maybe I should take a break. Healer's man is fine. What we don't want is our vengeance to drop off. We don't get much vengeance in heroics anyway. So what we're hoping to do is if we just keep chain pulling, we're going to keep our vengeance up. Our threat's always going to be nice and high because our vengeance hasn't dropped off. Really going to be sweet. We've got three holy power. Going to go in and just drop a big fatty shield of the righteous just to set this new mob off so we haven't got any threat issues at all. Remember, once you've done, as we said in the prop warrior guide, once you've got enough threat on the mob that you can't possibly use aggro, lose aggro on that mob, move the hell on. Move the hell on. So we've got our guys coming. Big cleave pull. Drop our Consecration. Holy Shield. Block all the incoming damage. Really nice. So we've got our three Holy Power up. We're just going to save it while we finish this pot. Throw in our Inquisition because we've got an AoE pull. And boom. Shield of the Righteous. Stun them. Holy Wrath. Yeah. AoE proc. Refresh it. We've got a new mob in. Don't want to stand in bad stuff though, do we guys? So let's pull it round here so they'll all come back out of line of sight. Remember, use line of sight to your advantage guys. If you've got a lot of heavy casters, line of sight is your best thing to control them. A mass silence from our shield. Still on our holy shield again, blocking all that damage. Keep inquisition nice and high. Keep interrupting. Once you've got your threats sorted guys, you really don't need to worry about anything else and you can focus on other things. That's what's important. Really just focus on other things. Gather these up, stun them while the healer gets in here. Inquisition up, nice and tidy. Oh yeah, see the healers managed to get here just as they came out of stun. Use that, keep our Inquisition rolling. Again, all we're doing guys, so easy. We're using Hammer of the Righteous, something else. Could be Holy Wrath. Hammer of the Righteous, something else. Till we get to three. Then we're going to pop our Inquisition and shoot off. Next pack please. Boom, boom, boom. Interrupt, interrupt, yeah. Holy Wrath, give him a big fatty stun. Healer's man is all nice and good. That's all you need to be worried about. A mage, I mean, I play a mage as well, guys. As you know, I play every class. So, what? Do, are we worried about not DPSing one pack? No, we're not worried about one DPS missing one other pack. Not at all. Oh, I suppose you want to see the damage. Let's throw it out there. Me winning like a boss. But I am overgeared for this. I say this is a ZG sort of level cat, level char, tier 11-ish. We're just going to go ahead and... Get our three combo points up. Come on. Give the healer a breather. He's he healer's below 25% mana. Mana break, please. I already knew it, mate. What are you asking me for? Sit down. Have a drink, kitty. Because daddy's got you. 
Daddy knows what your manners like. You don't need to tell me. But we are going. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to pop Inquisition and then the Wings Divine Plea. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, come on, come on with your crappy drink. Inquisition on. Divine Plea. Wings. Shield. Judgment. Sacred Duty proc. Boom. Pull with a 30k. Who is your daddy? Oh, yeah. Keep, and that's it now, guys. So what do we look at at this boss? Again, it's about knowing your boss. Summon Wargan Spirit. Where does the bubble go? Let's watch it. It's going to land right on top of us. So we're going to throw down a, a Consecration early. And this mob's going to spawn right on our balls. There he is. And we already had him in Consecration. Instantly had aggro on him. Get our shield block up. Boom. And we're not going to worry about him too much. Because he's just going to be cleaved now from our Hammer of the Righteous. Don't need to do anything else. Really easy. Summon Wargan Spirit. Let's watch the purple orb. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? It's going there. So we're going to wait for it. Pop our Inquisition because we're going to have to wait. We tank a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, shield missed. But that's why we have low low miss. But you see me having any threat issues now? Not at all. So we shook a, a big 51k. Hammer the right, uh, shield of the righteous on that mob. We're never going to have aggro issues on him ever. Keep our Inquisition up nice and good. Summon Wargan Spirit. Where's this one going? Watch the orb. Watch the orb. Where's it going? It's going there. Consecration down on top of it. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Straight to us. Keep the Inquisition going. See the way we create this ball of mobs? So the DPS is having a fun, fun time now. Use our Holy Shield. Block all the damage. Mob coming in from behind. And what do we say? We want things to attack from the front. Done. Done and dusted. No bother whatsoever. Moving on already. Remember, this is a full puck, as you saw, guys. I did no trickery at all. Hammer, Holy Wrath while he gets up here. Pop our uh, protection. We don't want to die. We'll stick an ardent defender on, just in case the worst of the worst happens. Oh, we're going to lay on hands. Remember, your lay on hands is an important cooldown, guys, to top your health back up. But again, he's still doing the same thing. So while we're so comfortable with how we tank, which is just using these two buttons, either your Crusader Strike or your Hammer of the Righteous, we're so comfortable with it that we can just focus on other things. Because our hands will eventually, and your hands will eventually, just do it on auto. I don't, I'm not looking at my bar now. I hope you realise that, guys. I'm not looking at my buttons whatsoever. I'm just watching the screen. I'm looking around. What should I be... What's next? That's all I'm thinking about. What's, what's next? I can tank this eyes closed. Why? Because it's the same six or seven buttons over and over. And if you've watched my clicking guide on how to become keybinded and make this so much easier, if you haven't watched that, go ahead, check the channel. There's a clicking guide on there of how to turn your lowly uh, clicking away while you'd be looking at this part of the screen instead of all this. Go ahead and check that out, guys. And I know we've got an AOE pull next. Inquisition on. Nice big fatty shield. Straight in. No either. Another fuck. Oh, yes. So much damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Inquisition back up. Wait till these are low. I'm going to actually save my Holy Shield for the next pack just so we've got a slightly better mana advantage going into the other one. Come on, Daddy, die. And that's the proc there I was looking for. So I'm going to use that proc to silence all these and create a better ball of mobs. Remember, this is what we're aiming for. A better ball of mobs. Holy Shield up. Start blocking all the damage. Keep our Inquisition up. Remember I was saying about the one point that we took in our... Um, Reckoning. Reckoning is up all the time, guys. It just procs so much off just the one point. There's no no reason to take another. So again, we're going to have our mana, bake, our mana break. So we checked our healer's mana. He's nice and low. And this, this boss can be a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky for some pugs. But we're going to control it like absolute ballers. Mana break for Kitty. I seem to be running into... I mean, Octagonopus. An Octagonopus. Not sure about that name, pal. Or Smalls. So we've got a kiss, small kitty with an octagonal bus. That sounds like an experiment gone wrong. Our man is all good. Divine plea. Wings. Inquisition, because we're AOE tanking. Throw in the big hammer. Boom, we're off. Now what's the trick here, guys? He's going to do two things, this boss. He's going to throw out a big frontal breath. And we don't like frontal breaths, because that's going to cleave our friendly neighbourhood guys. So there's that. Whoa, move away from the AOE, that death and decay on the floor, the nice big green thing. And we're going to face him into the wall. So when he does our big, there's the shield, look at that. Look how much part of the room that's hitting because of where we stood. It's hitting nothing. Absolutely nothing. Because of just we faced him into the wall. The rest of the room is free and clear for our boys to do their business. Except for Octoganopus, who's going to fight in the middle. So we're going to turn him around, get him out of the death and decay. 
But again, face him at the other wall. So let's have your shield. Let's have it. What have we got now is the other ads coming in. What abilities have we got for this? We've got our shield, which missed. Balls to the walls. Aggro them. Get them back so he's facing the wall again. There's the shield. Again, look how much room the shield is taking up there. Absolutely cock all. Really important, guys. There's the AoE. Move out of that and face him at the other wall. Oh, are you, are you feeling me, guys? I hope you're feeling me because this is just so easy. Look at our healer's mana. How many times have you seen a healer go home on this fight? Our healer's mana is awesome sauce because the raid is not being cleaved. We are just happily tanking it away. Boom, down you go. Let's rock and or roll. Coming up, another mob. One Crusader Strike for you. We want the whole ball. There's the shield. Bit of Hammer the Righteous. Another shield. Holy Wrath to stun him while our healer gets a grip on the situation. And off we go. Inquisition up. Cleaving. Consecrating. A bit of a Holy Shield. Reduce our damage. Interrupt. And this is what I'm taking advantage of, the fact that I can just watch what's happening. Absolutely no bother at all, guys. So easy. Keep the Inquisition going. Boom, boom, boom. Another Holy Wrath. I'm going to stun them. They're going to die. I'm going to leave. They're going to die anyway. No problem at all. Get into the next pull. Now look how early I am at these pulls, guys. This is what I'm telling you when you're tanking is why you're never going to have threat abilities. I got three global cooldowns off there of big cleave damage before it was ever an 